Good morning, Connor kiddos. How do I look? Are you getting it? Do you understand? Let this be a little clue. May the fourth be with you. Today is Star Wars Day, and this is all I know about Star Wars. My mom used to do my hair a little bit like this. It looked so much cuter when she would do it. But in second grade, I remember everybody watched Star Wars, but I grew up with two sisters. I've never even seen Star Wars. So I tried last night to watch a little bit of it so I could kind of figure it out, but it's just this whole other thing that maybe if I had brothers, I would have watched it, but I was too busy having um, tea parties and reading Little Women and playing with my sisters. So here is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna read a book called, What is a Wookiee? And I do know Chewbacca. He is my favorite character of Star Wars of what I know. And I really wish I had like Tyson McMinn or Nico. They always help me out when somebody picks the book to read during library if we have extra time and the boys pick out a Star Wars book or if some girls do too, they have to help me with every single name. So I wish they were sitting right next to me so they could help me pronounce everything correctly. So I will try not to destroy it today, but here we go. What is a Wookiee? My name is C-3PO. I am a droid and I'm a talking machine. I live far, far away in space and lots of creatures live here. I will, t I will be telling you about some of them. Some creatures in Star Wars are aliens. Aliens are not human. There are, all lots, of dif there are lots of different aliens. Humans also live here. My friend, Padme, Padme, is a human. I do know that's Natalie Portman. That's all I know. <laughs> this is my friend, R2-D2. He's a droid, too. R2-D2 likes talking, and his voice sounds like whistles and beeps, but I can understand him. R2-D2 is a clever little machine. He has lots of useful tools and he can fix anything. Okay, I do remember that part because he's like these little machine hands that come out and like extra screwdrivers and change all kinds of things. I did know that. Okay, and there's Chewbacca. He's a tall furry, furry alien called a Wookiee. And I had a friend in high school who could really make a good sound just like a Wookiee. My husband can do it too. I wish he was up here. He's the best friend of Han Solo, who is a human, and they fly a spe special spaceship together, and sometimes I ride with them too. Now say hello to Jar Jar Blinks. Is that right? He is a friendly alien. Jar Jar comes from an underwater city. On land, Jar Jar is always falling over. He uses his long tongue to catch food to eat. Okay, this guy, never seen him. Is it Watto? Watto? Okay, or Watto? Watto? Let's visit Watto's shop. Watto is a blue alien. He has a bad temper, and he flies about using wings on his back. He sells bits of old machines called junk. <laughs> Are you having a hard time looking at me like this? My family's going to make fun of me for this forever. Okay, now it's time to meet... Sibulba? Sibulba? Did I get that right? This nasty alien races in a vehicle called a pod racer, and he likes to go really fast. Sibulba will do anything to win. He will even throw things at other pod racers. Pit droids fix the pod racers, and they are very useful and can carry heavy things. Pit droids sometimes get into trouble, though. There's only one way to stop them. Tap them on the nose and they will fold up. Well, that's cute. Jabba the Hutt. Okay, I do know this character. Jabba the Hutt is a nasty alien and he has a fab body and a long tail and his body is covered in sticky slime. Jabba's eyes are red and yellow and his breath is really smelly. Don't get too near him. Now let's vi visit Dexter Je Jester's restaurant. Holy cow, that is a crazy looking creature. This friendly alien has four arms and he cooks the food at Dexter's diner. 
Dexter knows lots of things. What should we ask him? He's thinking about it. These creatures are lizard keepers. They live in big holes in the ground and sometimes the lizard keepers ride around giant lizards. The lizards are good at jumping and climbing. Okay, I always thought that these were like cute little friendly guys, but I think they're the bad guys, right? Jawas are small creatures with shiny yellow eyes. Their faces are hidden under the hoods of their brown cloaks. These little aliens find droids and bits of machines to sell. Once they even sold R2-D2. Okay, I don't know. Maybe they are bad. Maybe are, they are good. Tyson, McMahon, I expect you to answer all of these questions for me on my comments. Oh, I love these guys. Aren't these the Ewoks? If you go down into the forest, we meet the Ewoks. Ewoks are small furry creatures and they live in houses that they build up high in the trees. Okay, I always thought they were cute. I did know what those were. Yota is a very old and very wise man. Oh no, just old and very wise, not a man. He, is, he has green skin and big pointy ears and no one knows what kind of a creature he is or even where he came from. <clears throat> I hope you've enjoyed learning about the creatures in Star Wars. Goodbye. Well, I did. I learned a few more. So that was my Star Wars book today. Now here's my Star Wars challenge. I found Star Wars candy. Did you know they make Star Wars candy? So whoever answers my question correctly, I will deliver the Star Wars candy to your doorstep. No, I will not be wearing my Princess Leia hair anymore. This is all I'm doing today. Okay, so here is my question. Marco Polo. You know that game when you're in like the swimming pool and you're like, Marco Polo, Marco, okay? Marco Polo. Was he a boy who lived in Italy 700 years ago? That's A. Was he a teenager who traveled to China and came back 24 years later? Was he the author of a travel book that inspired Christopher Columbus? Or was it all of the above? Okay, A, B, C, or D. Which one do you think it was? So, if you think you know the answer, type your comment and first one to get it, I will drop off the Nerds Rope Dark Side Cherry Star Wars candy to you. Okay, have a happy fourth. May the fourth be with you. And tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo. And we have a Cinco de Mayo book for tomorrow. So have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.